ultimately we are all gods. That's really what being a god is, is a balance of leadership, accountability, communication, and dealing with adversity. Nurturing the people that you're with to make them better. There are a lot of facets about being a guide. A lot of responsibilities with being a guide, right? Whether it's establishing expectations, it's communicating effectively, it's being transparent and honest, it's being a member of a multi-dimensional team, it's communication, it's trust. It's all of these characteristics that each one of you have to incorporate. You're a guide too. We are all guides. And no one personifies this idea of being a guide better than a group of people that you've heard of before called the Sherpas. I call it the Sherpa attitude. The Sherpa attitude. It's going out there and getting it done for the people around you. It's shelving your own agenda right? Not worrying about planting your own flag on the summit. It's actually looking around left and right and saying, how can I make you better? How can I provide you an amazing, bountiful experience as we collectively move up the mountain? That's the Sherpa attitude. I also refer to it as servant leadership. It's what I think it is. It's servant leadership. It's leading from a place that's centered around fostering the success of other people first before yourself whether it is your clients, your customer, the network around you, this amazing multi-layered network that we have in this room. Turns out I gravitate towards these chaotic environments. Who would have thunk? So I got home and I started thinking about this, man. And so I went down the Google hole. Why do I always end up in these places, flying around in helicopters and taking blind dudes up big mountains and doing all these crazy things, right? There's gotta be something. So I landed on this acronym called VUCA. It stands for Volatile, Uncertain, Complex, and Ambiguous. VUCA. And I said, boom, that's it. I need to know more. I need to know more about how to optimize my efforts when things are sideways because guarantee it, they will be. And I learned a few things, a few things, learning, engaging, studying, adapting, acknowledging, all of these things kind of come out, right? Focusing on the things that you can do as opposed to the things that you can't. Focusing on the resources that you have and not the things that you don't. Austere medicine will teach you a few things and one of them is you gotta use what you got where you are. But you've got the most important skill and resource of all, all of you with your training, is this, your heart and your brain, it's right there. We spent 20 minutes on top. 20 minutes, took us two and a half months to do it, 20 minutes on top. You do the math, right? Cuckoo. I didn't learn one thing in those 20 minutes, not one single thing. But boy, did I learn a whole lot about a whole lot of things. I learned about how to be a leader, how to be a God, how to sacrifice, how to be a servant leader, how to be of service to other people, how to be a part of something that was bigger than me. I learned all those things, but I didn't learn any of it standing on the top in those 20 minutes because I learned it on the flanks of the mountain. Life doesn't take place on the summit. Life takes place on the side of the mountain. That's where it happens every single day. That's where we fall down. That's where we make mistakes. That's where we stand back up and we brush ourselves off and we re-engage and we align ourselves again. Life takes place on the side of the mountain. That's where we optimize our efforts so that when we do get those few precious moments, those, those few precious summits in our lives, professionally and personally, that we're as good as we can possibly be. Oh my God, it's like a 30 footer. What? Yeah, it's cool, it's cool. 30 footer, it's no problem though, dude. It's no problem, you will do this. Jumping off a 40 foot cliff with your blind buddy, that doesn't happen naturally. That only comes after years or experiences, more importantly, of adversity, of dealing with challenges and getting knocked down and having your buddy help you back up. I would ask you to think to yourself, who would you step to the edge of that cliff with, both professionally and personally? I know that I've got the people on my rope with me. 
And if I venture out on my own, I'm not near as strong as I am with this collective power of one. Our responsibility as a leadership team for this amazing organization is to step up to the edge of that cliff and grab the hand of our teammates, of our members, of our friends, of our spouses, of our families. Hold on to them, take that jump, take a chance, move on, pick the right route, be that leader. Be that leader that seeks out opportunities to show your team your level of commitment to the team and to the organization. Look for opportunities to be of service. Thank you and continued success to all of you. Thank you. Thank you.